What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, bringing you another video today we're reviewing Boruto episode 20 titled The Boy with the Sharon Gun. The rest of this episode, uh, for those of you who already read the Naruto Gaiden chapters, you probably already know what's going to happen and you don't need to watch the episode. If you watch it, you just, you're just probably just watching it just to see it animated. But for those of you who don't know, I'm going to go through uh, mostly a, uh, a plot summary of the episode. So at the beginning of the episode, uh, we, we return back with Sasuke being attacked by Shin Uchiha. And, you know, because it's Sasuke, he, Shin gets absolutely fucking dicked on, does a fucking hand weave fucking with, with only one goddamn hand, right? Uh, Shin Uchiha leaves, whatever, and then it skips on to the fucking intro, right? And then uh, Naruto and Shikamaru are actually get a message from one of Sasuke's fucking hawks. Uh, and it's basically saying that Sasuke had gotten attacked by someone with a Sharing Gun. And it's so big to that point where Naruto feels like he has to go out and obviously meet up with Sasuke. Um, you know, Sasuke's, um, or Naruto's getting, rather getting prepared to leave. And Sarada, as we found out for the last episode, is going to leave and go, go, going to try to find her fucking dad, who's Sasuke. Goes to the hospital really quick to get a fucking change of clothes and a backpack. I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, sees an unconscious Sakura. Doesn't say anything, not even like a simple, like, goodbye because she's, you know, leaving. Whatever, right? <laughs> Sarada goes to the front gate. Um, you know, to wait for Naruto and the seventh Hokage, with, uh, and Chojo shows up, whatever, she's ready to leave, all that crap. Um, Naruto leaves, and he tells Shikamaru that uh, he needs to tell uh, Boruto that he's sorry. And that's because Boruto then shows up uh, not a second fucking later, uh, with a fucking lunch bag for Naruto before he was going to leave. Because it's Boruto, he's fucking edgy as shit, and it's just kind of like, whatever, he starts to fucking leave. Sarada is like, I'll deliver it to him, whatever, and then Boruto is just like, you don't, you don't have to do that, it's fine, it's whatever, I'm gonna go fucking tell my mom that she needs to stop doing this or whatever, and then, you know, typical Boruto stuff because he fucking hates his dad or whatever. Uh, Shikamaru is just kind of like, whatever, she can take it, Boruto give it to her, and Boruto's like, fine, whatever, he doesn't really fucking care. Uh, they go ahead and they leave, Chocho and Sarada. They leave to go, you know, uh, find Sasuke mainly, but of course they do deliver the, the lunch, of course. But they actually encounter uh, Shin Uchiha, uh, he attacks them, and you know, Sarada is like confused because Shin has, you know, Sharingan and is confused. Ask who the fuck he is, he says Shin Uchiha, obviously she's surprised because, you know, Sasuke and Sarada were supposed to be the last of the Uchiha clan, but whatever, right? Uh, then he then he goes ahead and attacks them with the fucking giant shuriken with the fucking with the fucking chain attached to it. Naruto obviously shows up and he saves them. Uh, Shin Uchiha actually has a pair of Mangekyo Sharingan, activates it, which forces no, not really force, but it makes Naruto go KCM. And so, you know, after that point, Shin basically gets fucking dicked on, and one of the most lame fucking Mangekyo Sharingan abilities is that Shin Uchiha has the ability with this Mangekyo to control weapons and really disappointing I wasn't really expecting that it's it's different sure but it's like we're at a point of the series where you know characters like Naruto and Sasuke exist you'd think they would give them you know like a better Mangekyo Sharingan ability but you know what, what, what the fuck can I do right uh, they skip on, uh, it's kind of like whatever, uh, you know, Naruto actually goes ahead and starts talking about how Sasuke was when he was younger to Sarada, and even Chocho, which was the main reason why they fucking left in the first place, because Chocho doesn't believe that Choji's, you know, her, her real dad or whatever, it's, I, don't, I don't know, that's fucking weird. Uh, I, I like this funny moment how it's like, Naruto starts saying, uh, all this shit about what Sasuke was like when he was younger, uh, and he starts saying like the the two of them are very like uh, Naruto and Sasuke were very comparable. Like, uh, you know, Sasuke was like 
you know, got a lot of attention from all the uh, Konoichi from the Academy, just just like he was. He was good at ninjutsu, just like he was. All his other crap. And then he started saying all this crap about about Sasuke being like uh, an egotistical whatever, right? I forget what he says. But then in the end, but in the end, he says that Sasuke, well, is his rival, and it's always gonna be like that until the very end. You know, and we actually get a couple of narrations from Sarada saying that she feels really comfortable uh, next to uh, Naruto, the Hokage. And I guess that's supposed to set up the fact that Boruto really likes Sasuke, whilst Sarada really likes uh, Naruto. It's kind of ironic, but whatever. Uh, it's kind of just set up to the point where they get to uh, the tower, and they actually... Uh, are, and that's where Sasuke was supposed to meet up with Naruto. Um... Sarada makes up an excuse to get away from Chojo and Naruto, even though I feel like Naruto probably already knew what she was planning to do. Uh, she gets away from the two of them, and as she's actually on her way to the tower where they were supposed to meet up with Sasuke, she actually awakens her Sharingan, and for those of you who don't remember how a Sharingan awakens, it awakens through a strong uh, emotion, uh, through strong emotion. So, for example, when Sasuke awoken his Sharingan, it was after, you know, you know, basically the extinction of the Uchiha when he was younger. But it doesn't have to be through the loss of someone. It can actually be through just sheer happiness of meeting someone that they have basically never met. In this case, Sarada when she awoke in the Sharingan because she was so excited to meet her dad. <clears throat> Sarada goes into the tower. She's like expecting to see Sasuke. Um, finally sees him, right? And it's just kind of like, whoa, what the fuck? They just fucking met. Oh my god. And then she's like, Dad? And then he cuts her off. And he's like, wow, I'm impressed that you found me. Uh, and then he's like, who are you? And then draws his fucking sword, right? And, uh... I haven't read the guide, and like I said, this is my first time experiencing it. After this episode, I'm, I'm, I feel like I should probably go watch it, to be honest. But the ending really threw me off. I wasn't expecting it to happen like that. I, I, I really I really wasn't because <laughs> I'll be honest it's like that's a really like sad and emotional ending to an episode because it's like that's Sarada's dad you know and she hasn't ever fucking met him and then it, Sasuke just draws out a sword and then it's just like who the fuck are you bitch and I'm like you can't not do that you can't do that to someone you just fucking can't dude I I don't know I, I thought I, I died laughing. I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but um, you know, whatever. <laughs> Overall, the episode was really good. Animation was, you know, stable. Or, when I say stable, I mean, like, it was actually really good, and there were no, like, sudden fucking wonky, like, shots of characters or whatever. Uh, writing, of course, was uh, very good, because this is basically the scripting from the Naruto Gaiden, so it was very good, and... Overall, if you've seen the Gaiden, you already know like what to expect. But if you haven't seen it, well, you know this is what this is what you expect. This is what you're going to expect, rather. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, if you guys didn't enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more content just like this, please be sure to subscribe. And I do want to apologize for the long ass top five the other day. I don't know how the video ended up being that long. It just kind of did. And one more other thing before I end the video, uh, fucking phase rug blocked me on Twitter. That's all you need to know. Alright guys, see you later. Peace.